20 wickets fall on a chaotic first day at Trent Bridge. Nottinghamshire returned to red ball action with a 35-point lead at the top of Division 2, but their apparent march to promotion would be tested by a North Hat side who were unbeaten in their last five championship matches. At a sun-drenched Trent Bridge, the home side won the toss and chose to bat first. Stephen Mullaney and Jake Libby quickly made that look like a good decision. The opening pair made a solid start, taking the score to 35, before a bowling change worked for the visitors, Richard Gleeson having Libby caught in the slips in his first over. That brought Chiteshwar Pajara to the wicket for his second championship stint of the season, and the Indian Test star settled quickly, hitting his first ball for four. He raced to 18 from just 15 balls, but that was as far as Pajara got, bowled by Azarula, a vital breakthrough for North Hans which was quickly followed by another, as Samit Patel's decision to shoulder arms to Azarula backfired, bowled for just four. And when the same bowler took his third wicket in as many overs, Alex Hales caught at slip, also for four, the balance of the morning had swung Northant's way. But luckily for Notts, Mullaney kept going at the other end, and he hit Azarula for back-to-back -back fours to bring up his 50. At 110 for four at lunch, it had been a rare, tough session for the league leaders. And things didn't get any easier when play resumed as North Hans continued to bowl impressively. Mullaney became the third batsman to be castled by Rory Kleinfeld this time, and he was gone for 58. And it wasn't long before Azarula got in on the act again. Chris Reed caught at mid-wicket for just eight, and Knott for 141 for six. Not out batsman Ricky Vessels needed someone to keep him company, but Azarula had other ideas. Brett Hutton bowled for five, and the seamer had figures of five for 36 from 9.2 overs. Luke Wood didn't last long either, Gleeson trapping him for seven, and the home side were 174 for eight. Vessels reached his 50, but wickets continued to tumble at the other end. When Jake Ball fell to Gleeson, North Ants had maximum bowling points, but Knotts were still 14 runs short of a batting point. But finally they found a man to stick around with Vessels. Harry Gurney saw the total pass 200 in a last wicket stand of 31, which frustrated Northamptonshire. Eventually, Gleeson ended the innings, Vessels caught behind for 69 off 80 balls, a dismissal that signalled the tea interval. Vessels produced the standout contribution with the bat, but 213 all-out was well below Nottinghamshire's expectations. As a ruler with a superb 5 for 63, Gleeson 4 for 38. Northampton's reply got off to a flying start even without the injured Ben Duckett. Rob Newton and David Murphy added 24 from the first four overs. But once Jake Ball had Newton caught behind by Reed, the momentum shifted again. Ball seems to have fallen down the England pecking order, but his delivery to remove Alex Wakeley might help change that. Ball's display inspired Luke Wood, who took his first wicket when Murphy was caught behind, and suddenly North Ants were 44 for three. And when the same bowler removed Richard Levy's off stump, Nottinghamshire's 213 suddenly looked like a good score. And the host didn't let up. After bowling 15 dot balls, Brett Hutton trapped Rob Keogh for five, and North Ants were 57 for five. Even without Stuart Broad and James Pattinson, Knott's bowling attack was simply too strong. Mullaney weighed in next, Adam Rossington LBW for two. Northamptonshire's collapse wasn't over yet. When Kleinfeld became Mullaney's second victim of the over, they'd lost four wickets for ten runs. A stand of 25 between Josh Cobb and Ben Sanderson slowed the home side down, but when Hutton trapped Sanderson, it was just a question of how big Knott's first innings lead would be. But just as the end seemed nigh, Cobb and Gleeson halted the collapse. Their partnership took the score past three figures and edged their team closer to Knott's total. That added 49 when Gleeson became Hutton's third LBW victim of the innings. Still 10 overs left for the home side to take the 20th wicket of the day. They managed it thanks to Chris Reed's running catch to dismiss as a ruler off Wood. North Ants fall out for 141, a deficit of 72 runs. Only Cobb's unbeaten 46 helped them get that far. With five overs left, Mullaney and Libby found themselves batting again. They survived through to the close at 19 for no wicket, stretching the home side's lead to 91. Not clear favourites for yet another win, and this match is highly unlikely to last four days.